your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, we are going to continue with some roller coaster temperatures this week, and we have a chance for rain and thunderstorms. It's going to be moving in overnight and into tomorrow. Starting on Wednesday, things will be much calmer, and we're going to start to see some cooler air returning as we're heading into the latter part of the week. But temperatures today were in the 40s across the area. Some cloudy skies, especially over southeast Iowa, where they didn't uh, get as warm as northeast Missouri. So again, lots a lot of factors played into that because they had uh, some snow in northern portions of Iowa and into the upper Great Lakes region. Uh, clear skies right now, especially in Macon, some partly sunny skies at the Kirksville area. Uh, but keep your umbrella handy on Tuesday because we have some heavier rain and some thunderstorms is going to be moving in, about a 30% chance at midnight. Better chance as we're getting ready for work and school tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., looking about an 80% chance, even an 80% chance chance at noon and you're going to keep that umbrella as, as you're heading back home from work and school about three o'clock a 70 percent chance of showers and some isolated thunderstorms 46 degrees right now at the Kirksville Regional Airport winds are out of the north northeast at around 14 miles per hour cooler in a ton with 36 degrees they had some much cooler air because of that storm system that actually brought a foot of snow to Wisconsin and into northern Port portions of Iowa. So again, that's why they are much cooler up there. And plus they do have some cloudy skies winds are out of the east at around 10 miles per hour. Over the next 12 hours, temperatures are going to continue to fall into the 30s. In fact, 37 degrees at midnight. Here comes the rain starting to move in, especially in our southern portions of our viewing area like Macon area around 3 in the, in the morning, about 36 degrees by 7 a.m. showers, 35 degrees at that hour. So here comes breaking it down for you here. The rain comes in as well as the, some thunderstorm activity. This is around three in the morning. Uh, pro could be hearing some rumbles of thunder very early tomorrow morning, continuing as you're getting ready for work and school. And then around noontime, one o'clock continuing. And we possibly could get a little bit of a break as we're heading into the afternoon. But another round is going to be moving in late afternoon into the evening hours. That's what we could be some stronger thunderstorms storms, possibly some severe, but I think for the most part, they're going to be a little bit uh, less than the severe, so stronger thunderstorms are possible. And then as we're heading into tomorrow evening, continuing to exit to the north and to the east, everything should be out of here by midnight. Uh, but what is left is actually some decent amounts of precipitation. We do need the rain. We're in a deficit. Uh, so again, whatever we receive, we are going to be welcoming. Right now, it looks about an uh, about three quarters of an inch, some areas possibly a little bit more, uh, but again, right now it looks anywhere about a good three quarters of an inch. 35 degrees as your overnight low with rain likely. Again, moving in, I would say at least after three in the morning. Winds are out of the east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for your Tuesday, 49 degrees with cloudy skies and some isolated thunderstorms. Southeast winds though picking up, gusting to about 25 miles per hour. And then the rain will continue to to exit late Tuesday night, overnight lows 37 degrees, warming things up 61 degrees. That's why I say we've got a roller coaster temperatures this week, upper 40s on Thursday, near 40 degrees on Friday. But look at the overnight lows, 30s and then dropping down into the low to mid 20s and a high of 46 degrees on Saturday. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. Uh, if you do have any uh, tender vegetation that's popping up, mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about that on the break, right. uh, especially with these temperatures falling into the 20s, we could be seeing <laughs> a hard freeze. So again, if you can bring them indoors, that right. would be great. If okay. not, make sure you cover them up just to be All on right. the safe side. Because we did have a viewer who called us and from Livonia says she saw her first flower out in the woods, wild flower wildflower in the woods so they're going to be popping up soon they are going to be with these temperatures yeah, yeah. that'll be great thanks Teresa we'll be right back